Okay, it's beautiful here, but it is cold. everyone from here in Bruges, uh, Belgium, back in Belgium, yes I know, uh, kind of had a little bit of a dilemma last night, it was like I wanted to come to Belgium, wanted to explore a little bit of Belgium, and didn't know if it was better to come the night before and get here late and wake up here or wake up in the morning and drive here, and I always prefer to wake up in my destination than waste a little bit of the next day driving to the destination. Now of course this isn't the full destination of the day, but um, yeah, I'm here, super excited waking up here even though there's no sun, and if I had to have a little challenge if I have a little challenge for you guys, actually, by the way, I'm actually here at a basketball court. This is a pretty nice view. This is like a hidden basketball court that I didn't know. And speaking of basketball, I um, just wanted to say um, my challenge to you comes from someone that kind of, you know, yesterday was a game day, as I told you guys. I didn't play perfect. I, I hold myself to high standard, and I know, um, of course, it's not a good thing, but it's, what, it's something that really pushes me. And yesterday, I didn't play so great. You know, yesterday was not the greatest game for me, and I was a little bit frustrated. Even though we got the win, I was super happy for um, I should have done better and I need to do better and I will do better but I woke up this morning to a message from a little kid uh, who sent me a message on Instagram I'm not sure if I even know if I've ever seen them before but they said hey Luke great game it was fun watching you and that little compliment from that person who I didn't really even know that well sent me a message and the message made my day so a little challenge for you guys here in the vlog is to give one person a compliment today after you're done watching this vlog give one person a compliment and then go about your day because you never know one little compliment can make someone else's entire day so to that kid who sent me the message merci thank you and uh, on that note i'm here in this kind of back lot and but now it's cold it's starting to rain time to explore a little bit of here in belgium maybe leaving bridges not sure but uh let's start the day minutes kind of taken in the beauty of Bruges because I said uh, my goal wasn't to stay here today my goal is to move on but I've been trying to find a place uh, because it's freezing cold and I've As I told you guys every city I go to I always have to find my kind of place uh, not sure if I found my place here in Bruges I kind of found it before but definitely have this will be my second place right here in the second the smaller of the two squares that are here, um, this is definitely a place to come. Well, to have a nice coffee, relax before trying to plan what to do the rest of the day. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, bro. See you next time. Oh, okay. And I guess I had to come here to the big square real quick before maybe changing cities, but I had to get one more view of the square. And you can see I was out here like eight o'clock in the morning. No one, it is like 11 and people are starting to come out even though there's no sun. But uh, yeah, Bruges, see you next time.
hour and a half later. Uh, it's kind of been raining, but kind of trying to find a break in the rain to come out. But I'm realizing here in Belgium, not sure if it's everywhere in Belgium, but in what I've experienced here the last couple of days and a couple of times I've been here, it seems to just rain like pretty hard and then it rains a little bit and then it stops and then it just kind of restarts and follows that same cycle. So right now I'm in the non-rainy cycle and hopefully it'll take this a little bit longer just so I can explore a little bit of, I think you say the city Gant, Ghent? Uh, I'll, I'll figure out how to say it by the end of the day. Okay, so it is like super windy, but I guess this is like the main square and very impressive, very impressive here in this city. I've just got here, literally, I've only been here for like an hour and a half, uh, but I feel like this might be a perfect place to say welcome to Gaunt. I think I'm saying it right. I think I'm saying it right. Welcome to Gaunt. see with this crazy rain and coldness right now in the castle know nothing about it but hopefully a lot of it is inside <sighs> okay so I kind of like just finished like touring probably like 90% of the castle which is a place you guys should definitely come and see uh, pretty interesting history um, it's so funny how everything it kind of comes back to like love and that's the whole reason why this whole thing was built because of uh, one of the guys love for the, the 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 king's daughter who was locked here and then he ended up taking over this whole castle but there's a whole history uh, definitely come here they give you the audio things for free um, as well when you come when you get the ticket uh, I think it's like maybe 10 euros or something people were asking the price 
of like 10 euros. You can go to the roof, which has an amazing view of the whole city. And I believe this whole thing actually was built on like a sand dune as well, um, which is why it's so elevated. Of course, everything's by the elevated position. Uh, and then some interesting things was like the castle is built like slanted a little bit. And they said that was for when like people tried to attack it, they would just pour hot water or hot, hot whatever it was that they used and would burn people instantly. And it would come down there. You wouldn't even know until it was too late. It was also pretty cool getting to see all of the the different knight armor there was like one sword uh it was like bigger than me uh it's just like a whole nother world and the guns and stuff that they had were 10 times bigger than what it is now in these day and age um but this place is really interesting i think it's definitely worth the visit and i would say i was here for about maybe an hour hour and a half or something like that but you could stay even longer um and yeah definitely definitely worth it you know and if i had to say the most interesting thing that i saw here uh i would probably say maybe the torture chamber that was uh, uh the torture chamber here it is like freezing cold outside uh not sure what's next uh but if you guys do come here definitely come to this castle guys it is definitely worth it for sure 100 percent um and yeah like i say don't know what's next we're gonna spin i love it man this thing Empanada right here hold on my dude i'll plug you in hold on real quick okay so i'm back here at the hotel i'm with my man Good, Making good? you you want to like introduce yourself and then where yeah, people yeah. can find you and then they can uh, yeah yeah that's cool you know yeah. he's American by the way you can see he's tall too you know uh, the yeah. receptionist thought he was like looked like me and they introduced us <laughs> yeah we were like twins yeah, yeah. but um, I'm actually Canadian eh Canadian yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true Canadian 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 right. but we still North America yeah still now, North America so. Toronto what's good Toronto what's good? What's okay good? what's good to um yeah well name's Damien yeah um and yeah welcome um and basically yeah what we're gonna taste today is an empanada or what we call Jamaican beef patty um yeah. and you can find Find us the Jamaican beef patties in Ghent. We're the best, basically, I think, in Europe. Um, oh, this is the name of the city, Ghent. Yeah, this is the name of the city. That's how you say the name, guys. I knew I'd get Ghent. Okay, got yeah, you. Ghent. Ghent. Okay. Yeah, it's Ghent, Belgium. Yeah. Um, got gotcha. Come and check it out. And also, yeah, if you want to find more about the patties, just check out Zero Waste on um, Instagram. So that's Zero um, Waste Lunches. Yeah. Zero right there. Waste Lunches. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll link it. I'll link it below too. I got you. All right, cool, man. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. And let me just tell you guys, this thing, this is so good. I, I took a little piece of the napkin fell off, a little piece of the napkin stuck on, it didn't even matter, I still ate it. And this is not a paid advertisement either. This is the real deal. The real deal. The real, the real deal. Wow, that's good. Um, okay, now, but I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna do next. Gotta finish editing. Gotta have some of this, get some more water. A little bit spicy. Definitely good. I love supporting people who are creative, and creativity is what I think really makes the world a totally different place, you know? And I think that, uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I never doubt the reasons why people are putting your life why. You know, I'm here in a place no one's even here and was able to meet someone from Toronto who apparently looks like me, the front desk person said that. And it's, yeah. hey bro, awesome to meet you. And uh, yeah, I, I still am not sure what's next. We're gonna spin again. Whew, so got you guys back here. To the top of the cast, I feel like it's probably, it's not the most practical place to end the vlog, but it's probably the most coolest place with this amazing view. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Definitely come visit here. Uh, if you come when the sun is out, there's no way to be a little bit better. But